Hey, hi guys, Phil from statisticsmentor.com and welcome back if you've joined us from the previous video. So I'm going to continue now to compute the expected value of x because I have found the marginal of x, marginal PDF of x. Okay, using the formula, expected value of x is integral of x. Um, uh, shall I write down results straight away? No, I think I will write down formula that we've learnt from first year stats or the region of x. Uh, we can't apply it directly unless we know f of x, um, which we do if I bring over across the result from the previous section. So let me do that. What did we find it to be? Uh, it was 1 minus a half x dx over the interval of x and that interval was 0 to 2 and then solving this is very easy uh, dot 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 two thirds um, using the result we found before but supposing that I don't know this either I'm going to the way I've just shown you is most is gives you the answer and that's pretty much as direct as you can make it but let's just backtrack here because I want to do it so that we can discuss about order of integration okay right so over x x times fx since I don't know that we can integrate out respect to y of f of the joints PDF like this then we put in the values um, x is between 0 to 2 x and this integration of y is between the limits of x and 2 as explained in the previous video if you're unsure how I got that and then f the joint which again um, is half a half like this Right, working now what we're doing here is we're doing the inner one first how come hang on dx sorry we're doing the inner one first respect to y and you're going to get 1 minus half x dx and then now integrate this whole thing with respect to x and what's going to come to a half x squared minus x cubed over 6, work it out, 2 and, two and 0, and then 2 minus 8 over 6 gives me 2 thirds. Okay, so that's the answer. But can I, instead of integrating first respect to y and then x, can I do x followed by y? Well, you can by changing the order of integration. If I change the order of integration here, um, what do I get? Half of x. I do x first and then y. Well, c, check the limits first. Remember that x and the inner limits can involve numbers and variable, but the outer limit must involve just numbers. x goes from um, 0 all the way up to y. And y goes all the way from 0 to 2. Now, if you work this through, we should end up with the same number. Cool. Uh, just check this math. Why? Aha, so we're done. That works. All right, so I've done this, and I've shown you also that I can interchange the order of integration. But changing the order of integration, notice the limits on the integrals have changed as well. Note carefully. Okay, that pretty much does it for this video. I've got one more video lined up um, right after this, and that's I'm going to show you something uh, that a few of my students did uh, wrong in their homework. Um, on the topic concerning this.